Joan Oaks here again from Hangsters Hot Rods uh, in our new facility here in Homer City, PA. Uh, we have today for you a very nice car here, this being a 1967 Pontiac GTO convertible here. Now this car has been uh, restored. Uh, the underside is, is immaculate underneath here. So as we go through it, just make sure you, um, you know, check out the video closely you'll notice that this whole underside of this car, all of the, uh, the stickers, the labels, they're all intact. Um, it's got all the paint markings that they would have had on from the factory also. Those are all on all the components throughout this car. So again, just things to watch out for on this one. Um, again, starting at the back here, we see we've got a fairly new fuel tank. This thing looks great. Um, there's no dents or dings. This is, you know, the factory stamping here. Again, um, all of your, um, your ties here um, that hold it up, the straps, uh, those are in excellent shape. All the hardware to mount it with all looks to be all new stuff too as well, as it should for the, the type of restoration that they did here. Frame rails on the back, you can see how nice and straight those are on both sides. The exhaust work, you can see that that's all brand new exhaust work. Tailpipes are in excellent condition. Uh, all the muffler clamps, all the hangers for it are all done well and intact where they should be. As we get to the rear end here, we'll work our way across here so you see what we see here also. Uh, first and foremost, for our rubber on this car, uh, we've got all four Coker Classic tires. These are the red line tires, so it's going to keep that you know old school, traditional look to it. Those are mounted on all four. 14 inch Pontiac rally wheels complete with the beauty rings and the center caps correct for this Pontiac. Uh, also on the inside here of the wheel as far as stopping power we've got it's a power brake car but it's four wheel drum so four wheel power drum brakes. Um, we've got you know, new shocks back here stickers are intact again I mentioned that so again those are on all the shocks. Springs again new have the paint markings and the stickers on the coils as well. Brake lines look to be good. They've got that spiral treatment stuff around there to go over where any kinks or bends are to keep that line from kinking over and closing shut. Uh, now this is a 10 volt GM rear end. Um, this is a 355 gear in this, and this is the safety track rear. Um, so again, that's their version of like their posi uh, unit that's just what they called it there again all of that stuff all painted up very nicely done underneath here as far as the trunk pan that I can see here it looks like they did replace the trunk pan but from what I can see um, just on the front edge of the fuel tank here they used a one-piece pan in here they did the welding seam sealed it it looks good in here so again that's been replaced um, now as we get up here a little further, you can see it's just all stock suspension. So you got your lower control arms here, your upper control arms up above, drive shafts painted up, a nice gray color here. Got the paint marking on that as well. And then we have a nice set of mufflers here, dual mufflers, and they're probably like a set of turbo style mufflers. Um, so again, those are all new exhaust clamps intact and tied up as they should be so all right now here we are under the center of the car now you can really take a good look at the floors that are on this car again this car has been restored from the underside here so again floors good solid one piece floors there's no patching whatsoever you can see these are all the correct stamped metal floors for this car um, like I said excellent condition underneath here no undercoating it's just been painted black on here so you don't have any undercoating to cover anything up again painted nice black underneath here to go along with the rest of the frame frame rails themselves full frame on this car frame rails are nice and square and straight both sides as you can see there in the video as far as your cross members go your your transmission cross member here nice and uh, straight hasn't been banged up again in good condition all the bolts are intact and in good shape. Transmission uh, urethane bushing here for the tail shaft, that's in excellent shape too. Now this is a four-speed manual transmission, 
It's a Muncie M21. So again, a good four speed manual transmission car. And that's butted up to a Pontiac 400 cubic inch block. So again, that's all done nice. Uh, it's got the aluminum bell housing here and it does have the flywheel cover on the front of that to protect against any dirt or debris from getting in there and causing any kind of damage to the flywheel. Uh, we do have emergency brake cables all hooked up here. So the correct hardware, the J hooks, everything, both cables run all the way back and to those rear drum brakes. So again, that's all in excellent shape. Again, like I said, brake lines look to be good underneath here. Uh, along with the fuel line too. Um, so again, underneath the center of the car, everything looks great. All right, here we are now finally at the front end of our car here. So what we'll do is just work our way across side to side like we normally do. So again, what we have here are their Coker Classic tires, the red line tires to keep with that vintage old school look. Those are mounted on the 14 inch factory Pontiac steel rally wheels with the beauty rings and the center caps all intact and in good condition on this car as well. Inside of the wheel on the back side for stopping power up front, again, I've already mentioned it's a four wheel drum brake car, so that's what we have up here. Again, it is power brakes, power steering as well. Uh, and again, you can see so much underneath this front end here, how nice the components are, the little decals on it, the paint markings that they would have had from the factory when this car was originally done. They wanted to duplicate all of that and keep it looking just like it came from the showroom. So again, steering components all painted the same kind of like cast or gray color here. So your tie rods look to be all new, dust boots intact, your drag length, you've got a front sway bar here. Again, you can see the little decal wrapped around it there. Bushings on your sway bar mounts look to be good. Sway bar end lengths look to be good too. Stock cast suspension components. So your lower control arms and upper A arms, that's just all factory components. Um, even like your ball joints on this car, they've got the paint markings on the bolts just to make sure that everything had been gone over from the factory. That's kind of how they designated all that stuff. You see your cross member here, the main cross member on the front end of the car and see how excellent that thing is. Um, perfect condition, good and straight, hasn't been run into anything. There's no dents in that whatsoever. So again, nice condition on this car. You can see the engine also, the correct Pontiac blue paint here on the oil pan and on the block. So that is correct colors. Now this is a Y4 coated block and with the researching that I've done on the car, it appears to either be a 73 or a 77 uh, Pontiac 400 cubic inch motor, 350 horse I believe is what the horsepower rating was. But like I said, steering box and all the steering components, all colored, same color on this car. Of course, all the chassis components, all black on this car as well. Um, other things that I can see that uh, we can mention here, got a stock style radiator here. Um, we've got, looks to be a six blade, uh, like a flex fan type fan on the car. And then it's got the uh, fan shroud on there too to help pull the air through the radiator and help cool that motor down. Frame rails again up front, excellent condition. The coils up front here too, you can see the labels on those, the decals on those that would have been there from the factory. So with that said, that's pretty much everything underneath the front end of this car. So at this time, let's go ahead and get it down off the lift, show you around the outside and the inside of the car, show you how nice the rest of it is too. All right, here we are now, uh, we have our 67 GTO here down off of the lift now. So we're going to go ahead and go around the car like we always do with you. Um, so again, this car is a real GTO, a real 242 VIN number car. Um, VIN tags in place, everything about this car just as it should be. Now this is regimental red and it is a real regimental red car. So this car from the factory would have been this color. So again, true color, true Pontiac GTO is what we're looking at here. Um, all the metal on this car looks to be in really good condition, all straight as I look down the sides of this car, down the driver's side here anyways, uh, it's nice and laser straight the whole way down. We'll check the other side when we get around there. But again, all the red paint looks to be in good condition on this car. Um, nice smooth and shiny finish on the car. 
you do notice that the whole way down the side of the car, we do have these white pinstripes. Um, but those are in good condition too. They're just vinyl, they're not painted on. So if for some reason you didn't like those, you could peel them right off. Uh, but they were on the car when we got it and they're in good condition. As far as all the chrome and the bright work on the car, everything looks to be in really good shape on this car. You see that it does have the bright wheel lip moldings the whole way around the car. Um, as far as uh, around the windows, of course it's not going to have the drip rail moldings because it is a convertible. Um, but we'll get back there and we'll take a look at that top. It's in really nice shape too. Uh, as far as what this car is sitting on here, as far as wheels and tires, as we've already gone over with the underside photos and videos, um, these are the Coker Classic Redline Tires. So again, it keeps with that vintage or that classic look to the car. Um, they're 14 inch, so they're 215, 75 or 14s the whole way around. And those are mounted on 14 inch Pontiac Steel Factory Rally wheels. You can see how nice the paint is here. They're all painted in excellent shape. Trim rings and center caps, the PMD Pontiac Motorsport Division, those are intact too and in very good condition. As we get back here to the door fitment, as far as any panel fitment and alignment, we always like to check that out. You can see the gaps here on the back side of the door, or on the front side I should say, and on the back side there. They are very uniform. If you were to measure those out, they probably measure just about the same. So they've got the panel fitment just about perfect here. As far as elevations go also, no deviation in the elevations on that car either. So again, all of that adjusted very nice. Your bright work around your wing windows in good shape. Uh, normally you'll see on some of these older cars maybe a little pinning, but nothing on this. So at least on this side, we'll check the other side when we get there. We do have just a driver's side mirror on this car. Now this is not a remote mount mirror, um, so you have to manually adjust that. But again, it's in good condition. The chrome finish on that in excellent shape. Um, as far as the interior goes, we'll just open our door up here real quick. Take a quick peek inside. We'll get more in depth as we go inside. But again, all the factory black interior here. Uh, front bucket seats, all seat belts are present. It's got the, the wood grain trim throughout, black door panels, black carpeting. Um, so all of that looks good. Weather stripping is in really good condition too. Um, it's not in bad shape. We've got the little rubber bump stops both on the top and the bottom of the door. And again, there's no real chunks or any tears, anything like that. Weather stripping is still real nice and soft in the door and also up along the top edge here too. So again, sealing up should not be any kind of an issue whatsoever. As you can see, the door shuts super easy. Um, so again, that just shows how well that door is adjusted there. Now this convertible top, black top, very nice condition on this car. There is not a single mark that I can see on this top whatsoever. There's no rips, there's no frays in any of the threads. Uh, or stitching, it's in really nice shape here. Now, it does have the plastic window back here, uh, not, not the glass, uh, but again, it's in really good shape too. Now, this is a power top, um, so you do not have to manually do it. There's a little switch uh, that operates the top that's in the interior of the car, and we'll show that to you as we get there. Again, some of your bright work molding here around the top edge of the door and around the back to the bottom side of that uh, convertible top, that's in good shape too, all polished up and looks really good. The other thing we have too for this top here, whenever you put it down, we do have the convertible top parade boot uh, that goes on this car and that is in black as well. As we come back here, the big long quarter panels, we've got these GTO emblems back here on the quarter panels. Again, the bright wheel lip moldings, the 14 inch rally wheels with centers and the trim rings and those Coker Classic uh, wheel or tires. Uh, again, those are all new, so again, treads excellent on those. All right, now that we're here around the back end of our Pontiac GTO here, 67, um, we can take a look at, you know, everything back here now. The, tail panel, the lights, the bumpers, the trunk lid, all that stuff. So um, we'll just kind of stop, start top, work our way down on this car. 
So as we look back here again, that convertible top, you got the plastic rear window in there again. You can see that it's not in bad condition whatsoever. Nice and straight there again. You don't see any ripples or anything like that. So again, being able to view out through the back window on this car with the top up isn't going to be a problem. Uh, as far as your metal down below uh, your your uh, rear window there, metal's nice and straight down there, good and solid. Uh, and as far as your quarter panels coming down here and your trunk panel too, you can look at the gaps on that and see your panel fitment. Elevation back along there is real nice too. So again, no issues with panel fitment or alignment. It's done really nice here. Now the paint on the car, again, it does look good. It looks fine. Um, but it's, it's a bit of an older paint job, so again, um, being a real regimental red car, um, this may, may possibly be uh, an original paint. If not, um, it's an older paint job, but again, it still looks good, still shines up good, um, so again, no issues there. Uh, as far as uh, any emblems, logos, stuff like that, we've got the GTO emblem back here on the trunk lid. You've got your trim work around your tail panel here, the whole way across and down. That's polished up nice. There's no dents or dings in any of that. Um, so that looks good and is in good condition. Your tail light lenses, okay? Lenses themselves are in good shape. I don't see any chips or cracks in any of the lenses. The bezels around all of the tail lights look to be in really good shape on every one of them. Again, polished up nice, no pitting or anything like that on any of those tail light bezels. The tail panel itself, the metal, really good condition there. And as far as the bumper there goes, again, nice chrome on the bumper, polished up real nice and that's in good shape. There's no dents or anything in that big rear bumper. Let's go ahead now, open up our trunk, take a quick look inside. As you can see, that popped, so you know that the trunk lock works itself. The spring in the trunk works too, so it holds up your trunk lid. You've got the trunk light right here, uh, and it does work. It's on right now. You've got the original decals down here for your jack usage, so forth like that. Now inside the trunk, we have a full size spare tire in here. Same size as the rest of the tires, 215, uh, 70 or, well, this is a 15 inch rim, so it is a little different. But your height and everything like that is going to be the same on the tire, it's full size spare. It does have the bumper jack in here too, so the original bumper jack is all intact and it is in the trunk. Um, we also have the floor mats that were in the car. We just always like to take those out so we can show how nice a condition the carpeting is. And then as I mentioned before, we do have that black convertible top parade boot. It's in the trunk too. Got a trunk mat in here to protect everything, and even the floor underneath the trunk. As I mentioned in our underside video, it did have a one piece trunk pan all replaced in here. So this is all new, all solid metal, the correct metal too, correct stamped trunk floor, and it was done correctly as I mentioned on the underside, welded, seam sealed, just the way that it should be. Now you're weather stripping the whole way around the trunk here. That looks to be pretty new stuff there. Uh, very soft and supple there. And again, there's no cracks, there's no chunks or tears in any of it. So again, that should seal up just fine. So we'll go ahead and close this up now. There we go. And one more thing to mention while we're around the back side here, our antenna back here, that is a power antenna. I'll show you the switch for that too when we go in the interior of the car. Again, it's got the control for it inside there. So again, nice little feature there on the car. All right, so here we are now on the passenger side of our GTO. Again, we'll just do this real quick because we've already gone over everything on the other side. First thing I want to do is just kind of lay my eye down the side of the car here and look. And it is very straight, laser straight down the side of the car. You can look at the door from this point and see the elevation of the door as it goes up through and it is just perfect as far as I can tell here lined up really really nice on this car uh, so again all the panel fitment is superb on this car again 
GTO emblem back here, the GTO badging on the rear quarter panel. We've got that white pinstripe, vinyl pinstriping the whole way from the tail all the way up to the front of the car. Those bright wheel lip moldings, the 14 inch Pontiac rally wheels, and those Coker Classic Redline tires. Uh, as I said before on the other side, black convertible top in excellent condition on this car. If I had to guess, I'd say the top is probably a newer top. It's in that good a condition. Again, none of the stitching is frayed or torn. There's no holes, there's no wear marks to speak of. It's just, it's in that nice a condition for the convertible top. And again, that was a power top. So we get to the door, we can check our uh, gaps here on the back side and up here on the front side. So you can see those are pretty uniform front to back. And then like I said, the elevation, you do not see any deviation from panel to panel on this car. So that's nice. The bright work, the trim work up along the top edge of the door, again, polished up real nice and real good condition. The bright work along that wing window, again, there's no pitting whatsoever on any of this chrome. So again, real nice condition there. Let's go ahead and we'll just pop our door open here real quick, just like we do on the other side. And again, all the same stuff, regimental red on the interior of the doors there and on the, the uh, threshold here. Uh, they got the rubber bump stops on the top and on the bottom, little GM logo up here on the door. Uh, we'll do that again. Seals, weather stripping here on the door looks to be in really good condition as well as up on top here for your window weather stripping looks to be in really good shape as well. Let's go ahead and close that up. Door shuts nice and easy. Again, you have the bright work on the GTOs, that GTO 6.5 liter uh, bright rocker panel molding that's down on the rocker and on the bottom edge of the door. That's in really nice condition, nice and straight. It's not dented up and dinged up like sometimes you see. Nice and straight on this car here. Brings us to the front fender then, again the bright wheel and moldings, the 14 inch wheels, Cobra Classic tires. Okay, here we are, finally now 360 degrees around the car, we're now here at the nose. So again, your 67 GTO, you can tell from the nose here, again you've got the stacked headlights here, uh, high and low beam lights, those are your traditional glass sealed beam lights. Um, the glass on all the lenses for those are in real nice shape. There's no cracks or chips out of the glass on any of those. The headlight bezels and bright work around those, those are in excellent shape too. Again, no pitting on any of the chrome that I can see on this car at all. Looks to be really nice. Uh, bright work and trim work around the bottom edge of the hood here. Uh, that is in excellent shape too. The grill areas, those are in excellent condition. There's nothing broken out of them, nothing missing that should be there. It's all intact. The GTO insignia here on that, uh, the driver's side grill on the car. Your parking lights or your marker lights here again. Uh, the lenses on those look to be um, not in too bad a condition. Uh, a little cloudy, but again, they're probably the original lenses for this car. Uh, so again, those are not in too bad a condition at all. And your front bumper, the chrome on that thing, again, stands out really nice, polished up real well. No dents in the front bumper whatsoever. As we get to the hood, you've got the Pontiac emblem right here in the center. This is your all steel GTO hood. You notice back on a little further on the hood there, you do have the hood mounted tack on the hood as well. Um, so with that, we can go ahead and open up the hood. We'll take a look at inside now, show you what powers this car. And that would be, it is a non-original motor, but it is, it's a Y4 code block, um, which is basically a 400 cubic inch Pontiac, 350 horsepower motor. Um, I believe whenever I ran the numbers, um, we were able to narrow it down. It's either a 73 or a 77 Pontiac 400. Um, now, as you can see, it's got your traditional GTO style air cleaner up on top, chrome, chrome valve covers. It's just your stock cast intake. It does have the correct 067 heads on the, the motor also for the GTO for that motor. 
Um, we've got power, power brakes, power steering, just your typical stock style radiator here with your fan shroud that does have a six blade uh, fan on it too for cooling purposes. Um, as far as everything else, we've got the stock exhaust manifolds here, quadrajet four barrel carburetor on the car. Works good though, it's all been adjusted, timing's dead on on this car. It's stock style distributor and coil though. Um, so again, they've you know retained its stock appearance uh, as much as what they can. Um, now the battery's been updated on the car, but it does have this traditional looking cover on it. Um, so they make these covers to give the battery still that old school look of the older batteries, um, but it's just a cover though. So you've got your got a more modern battery that's in the car there. Um, all black, you know, fender wells. Um, cow back there also, the cow tag is still intact on the car and then of course on the underside of the hood here, the hood insulation, this looks to be all brand new here, there's no rips or tears or anything hanging down on this, it's uh, you know attached up here just as it should be and again in excellent condition on this car. So with that stated, um, I think we're all done here, we're going to go ahead and close this hood up and then we'll go inside the car and take a look at that interior for you. All right, here we are now in the interior of our 67 Pontiac GTO here. Again, all black interior, black door panels, black dash, black bucket seats up front, black upholstery in the uh, back seats as well, black carpeting. Um, so again, all of the stuff that you see in here would be stock, you know, for this car, factory from the, for this car, basically. Um, the dash has the wood grain trim on it. It's all factory instrumentation here. Now, as far as the instrumentation goes, you have a, um, a battery and oil pressure gauge. You've got the 120 mile an hour speedometer. You have a factory clock, and you have the, uh, the water temp alternator gauge in here also. Uh, again, we've already mentioned it does have the tack, but it's the hood mount tack out on the hood. Um, so you won't have anything like that in here. Factory heater controls are still intact here. Factory AM radio. As I mentioned, this car has a power top and power antenna on the back quarter panel. And those switches for those are right here on the top of your dash here. So again, very easy to operate those. Just activate the switch and it'll either power the top down or power the antenna up. So uh, factory steering wheel here too, factory horn button, again all remain intact in this car, factory four speed center console. This uh, we already stated it was the, uh, the Muncie four speed transmission. We've got the Hurst shifter arm here, your four speed shift ball up on top then too. So this is factory, it's got the wood grain trim also. Now this has the grab handle over here right above the glove box. You've got your GTO uh, badging here right above the glove box. You also have GTO badging on each of the door panels as well. Uh, again, to help identify exactly what it is. Uh, everything else in this car though, um, you know, the sun visors, those are in excellent shape, done in black. Again, the underside of the top, just as nice as what the top side of, the, of it is. Um, all the seat belts are present, so you've got your seat belts up front as well as the one in the rear. And the carpeting itself, excellent condition, no signs of fading, there's no tears in any of the carpet. And again, we do have the floor mats for it, they're just in the trunk of the car um, so that you can see how well the carpet looks in here. Uh, that's basically it. Um, from here, we go ahead and start the car up for you, uh, but I'll leave you with this. Uh, if you have any questions about this car, any other car we have in our inventory, uh, feel free to give us a call or send us an email out. Um, all of our contact information always made available to you uh, in all of our images and our videos that we put out for you, as well as on our website, www.hanksters.com.